Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing Mixer Brush Tool settings for everyone that always struggles using the Mixer Brush Tool in Photoshop. I know I always do these tutorials, and I think most of you tend not to watch them, or maybe you miss out learning from those videos. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be focusing on how you can use the Mixer Brush Tool in order to blend the skin tone quite well or even better. And always, some of you tend to see a second circle on my Mr. Brush tool, and I'm also going to be addressing that in this video. So, without further ado, let's get started. And if at all you haven't hit the like button, I request that you hit the like button on this video because when you hit the like button, it also helps the video perform better on YouTube and also helps the channel grow in the long run. So, I request that you hit the like button on this video. So, this is the image that we have, and a brief information about the Mr. Brush tool. It is just a tool that is going to enable us blend and even out the skin tone transitions within the photo. So at the end of it all, you're going to be having skin tones or skin color that is going to be even enough in this very photo. So when you're using frequency passion, you have to take into consideration that it divides the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. In the high frequency layer, we have our textures and in the low frequency layer, we have our colors. So I'm just going to be creating those two layers. So if I told you I have a frequency separation action, you can play that and I'll pick you up in the future as you are heading on with the tutorial. So I'm just going to create those two layers and the action helps you create these two layers. And if I told you are interested in my Researching Essentials Pack, the link is going to be in the description of this video so that you can support the channel by buying or purchasing my action. So I'm just going to come and double click rename this to low. And I'm going to name this to high. So with this done, simply this is the most important step if at all you want to retain textures. So if at all you have your action, it is going to stop at the point when it is going to ask you to put in the Gaussian blur radius. So for our case, we're just going to come to the low frequency layer and simply come to filter and come to blur and come down to Gaussian blur. So when you come to Gaussian blur, this is the most important step where you determine the amount of skin textures that you want to remain with in your final and retouched image so with this you have to zoom in and look for an area that has more skin textures than the rest of the skin so i'll be using the forehead area because it has prominent skin textures so you have to use the zoom in and zoom out tools and you click to move around so after doing this just come the radius and start taking up the radius so we want to blur out or remove the textures from the low frequency remember the low frequency is going to be containing the colors or the skin tones so start taking up the radius up the point when you're just starting to lose out on the textures in the image. So at around 6, that is when I'm just starting to lose out on the textures. So your images may be having different levels of skin textures because they may be taken under different lighting conditions or using cameras with different sensors or different megapixel counts. So make sure you don't cram this radius. So you have to move the radius up to a point when you're just starting to lose out on the textures within the skin and simply click on OK. So if at all you have an action, you're going to feed in the radius and simply continue playing the action. So for us, right now, we don't have the action and that is why I tend to cover everything so that I show you the genesis or the beginning or of everything. So I'm just going to come to the high frequency and now select it and activate it. Then come to image and come to apply image. So if at all you're having a 16-bit image, if at all you have 16 right here, these are the settings that you have to use. So the layer is going to be the low frequency because you are going to extract our textures from the low frequency layer and now measure the channel is rgb and the blend mode for a 16-bit image is going to be add and make sure pass at 100 percent the scale is 2 and offset 0 make sure preserve transparency and mask cannot check and make sure you turn on the invert option and you see the textures on the gray kind of layer then if at all you have an 8-bit image so if at all you have 8 right here it means your image is going to be 8-bit Make sure the layer is the low frequency layer and the blend mode has to be subtract. The invert option doesn't have to be turned on. The scale is going to be to offset 128, opacity at 100%, preserve transparency and mask cannot check. And make sure you click on OK. You can see that we have basically the same results. So I have a 16-bit image, meaning I'll just be using a blend mode of add, opacity at 100%, the scale is to offset 0, preserve transparency and mask cannot check. I'll turn on the invert option because I'm dealing with a 16-bit image and I'll click on OK. 
so i'm just going to come to blend mode and change it from normal and change it down to linear light and you'll get back the image it was meant to be so i'm just going to group these two by left clicking on both layers and simply pressing ctrl or command g on the keyboard and double click to name that to frequency separation so after i've done this the next thing is going to be using the missile brush tool to blend or even out the transitions within the skin so usually when we are mixing or blending the transitions within the skin tone we have to come and make sure we select the layer that contains the skin color or skin tones which is the low frequency layer and when that layer is selected just come under the brushes right click and get your mixer brush tool so if i told you have a newer version of photoshop you have to find your mixer brush tool under the brushes right click under the brushes and you select the mixer brush tool but if i told you having an older version of photoshop you may find your mixer brush tool below here so look for it wherever it is and select it so you have to set up the mixer brush tool so this is the most important emphasis for this tutorial which is the mixer brush tool settings so for the mixer brush tool settings basically you have to come and make sure the hardness at zero percent and make sure clean brush is selected and make sure you have two options right here one it says load the brush after each and every stroke and the second one says clean the brush so usually when you're working with skin tone we are we are dealing with different skin tone colors so make sure the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke has been selected which is the second option meaning after painting here the brush is going to be automatically cleaned by photoshop because we're going to be mixing another color afterwards so make sure the weight is nine percent because a higher weight is going to be spilling color from one area to another the load of 75 percent the mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent so make sure sample orders is not checked because when you check this option it means that the brush is going to be also copying information from the high frequency layer and painting it back to the low frequency layer so make sure sample orders is not checked and when you're done setting up the mixer brush tool i know so many people have tutorials about using the mixer brush tool and the different settings so some people tend to use 30 or through but i prefer to use a weight of 9 the load of 75 mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent so make sure depending on what works best for you feed in those settings and you work with those settings so for my case i prefer a weight of 9, a load of 75, a mix of 90 in the flow of 100% and sample orders is not checked because we are working with the low frequency layer and also make sure you turn off the high frequency layer. The reason for turning this off is because we only want to deal with colors and we don't want to be ex to be confused and distracted by the textures within the image. So make sure you turn off the high frequency layer and how to use the Mr. Brush tool simply reduce on the size by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard so the open bracket is going to reduce on the size of your mixer brush tool and the close bracket is going to increase on the size of your mixer brush tool so as you're using the mixer brush tool if at all it is not showing a circle like it is on this case make sure you click the capsule lock key so when the capsule lock key is turned on it means that the mixer brush tool is going to show this cross icon so make sure you press the capsule lock key on the keyboard and that is going to bring back the circle so most of you have always asked me why my, my mixer brush tool really shows two circles when i'm working on the image the reason for that is because of my screen recorder so my screen recorder always highlights every area that i am working on within my photoshop of or my interface of photoshop so let me show you this so if at all i want to blend right here i'll make sure i reduce on the size and i simply paint and you can notice that it is showing two circles and as soon as i release the left click button the second circle is going to be automatically deactivated by my screen recorder so the second circle doesn't mean anything because as i'm recording this my photoshop interface is just showing one circle so don't mind about the second circle that displays within my mr brush tool because that is as a result of my screen recorder so basically how to use it or how to apply the mr brush tool you select a low frequency layer and after turning off the high frequency layer how to use it make sure you don't zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in by using ctrl command plus it means you won't be able to see the uneven skin tone transitions or uneven skin tone color within your image so make sure you retouch at a distance 
and in this way you can see the uneven skin tone transitions. How to use the Mr. Brush tool? Make sure it is slightly or the same size of the area that you're trying to work on and the colors that you are going to be mixing in that case. So reduce on, on the size by using the bracket keys and you mix the highlight alone. So mix, mix the color that is looking uh, the same. And after mixing, so how to mix, you simply left click and hold down. If at all you don't have a touchpad or a retouching tablet, so you left click and hold down on your touch trackpad or even your mouse and you move it in a direction of the way an area is shaped. So that is how to use the Mr. Brush tool. So you simply left click and hold down and simply paint or move the Mr. Brush tool in the direction of an area that is shaped. You can see that you have this little triangle. So I'll move my strokes of the Mr. Brush tool in a triangular kind of direction in order to retain or keep the original facial structure of the model's face. So when it comes to the forehead, I'll reduce on the size and I'll just work. You can see I'm moving my mixer brush tool while I'm follow, following the shape of our of the forehead in this case. So that is how you can use the mixer brush tool. And you mix colors that are looking alike. And while they're transitioning from one color to another, just come and mix that border so that you can have a smooth and even transition within those colors. So I'm just going to be working on this area and I show you the results. So just turn on the texture or high frequency layer. And you can see the overall before and after before after we have still retained the original shape of the model's face but we have also retained the textures within the skin so this is how to use the mr brush tool so you have to work on every single area that has an even skin tone transition so when it comes to the nose area you have to move turn off the texture layer and you have to move your strokes in the direction of the nose so that you can retain the original shape of the model's nose so you can see how I'm moving the strokes of the Mr. Brush tool. So basically that is how to use the Mr. Brush tool when it comes to retouching using frequency separation. So when it comes to the hand area, you can see I'm going to be moving my strokes of the Mr. Brush tool in this direction because the hand is moving in also the same direction. And I'll keep the highlights intact and the shadows intact within the image. So after that, I'm just going to turn on the texture layers and you can see before after before after so this is how to set and use the mr brush tool for frequent separation and if i told you i've been seeing a second circle on my brush it means that is as a result of my screen recorder and you don't have to mind so much about that second circle the screen recorder basically has to display a second circle because i'm using a tool and it also has to highlight so that doesn't mean anything when it comes to using the Mr. Brush tool, because right now I'm also seeing only one circle. So the second circle is just for demonstration or showing you where to mix or where the brush is being applied onto the image. So this is it for this tutorial. And if I told you I've loved this, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If I told you I've been watching and you're not subscribe subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet. More amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.